Hi everyone, welcome to the Innovation Hub here in Eluel. I'm next to our plugin cabinet to present to you the Televisair solution. We open the app as a first step. This is the home screen where we land when we open it, where we can have a panoramic view of all our controllers. For this demo, we have only one controller, which is the one in front of us. From here, we can check the lux activity of the cooler and the geolocation of the cooler itself. In this case, we are in the Elevel factory in Belluno, Italia. Now we enter in the controller menu, which is an EW next in our demo. First of all, we have to establish a connection with the controller. Once the Bluetooth connection is established, I can personalize this page, adding some parameters, resources, or comments I want to interact with. In this demo, I'm going to add the set point parameter. I'm going to add the analog input one and the analog input two. Now it is calculating the visibility of my resources. And between the commands, I'm going to select four commands. Now the app has read the values. As you can see, we have the set point at five. We can check here. The set point is a five. We can change it from the controller, 4.8, for example. And I refresh the values. We can see it changed in the app. Vice versa, I can write the set point from the app. We can put 5.2, for example. And we can check the value has been saved. We can monitor the analog input. For example, the analog input one is 4.8, as you can see. Or we can run some commands. I can, for example, turn off the light, or I can turn it on back again. We can turn off the instrument. As you can see, it is off now. And we can turn it back on. Another function is the possibility to export and import the parameter map of the controller. When I export the parameter map, I'm going to download the values of this controller, and it's going to save it on a file, on a CSV file. I can select if I want to share it through the media installed on my device, or if I want to save it on the file manager of my device. In this case, I'm going to save it on the file manager. Vice versa. If I have already a CSV file in my device, I can import it on the controller. In this way, I'm going to write all the values I have saved from another controller to this one. On the app, I can see the progression bar with the number of the parameters I'm writing. The last step is about the historical data. I can check on the app if I have some data to download. I have a 56 record. I can select to dump it from the dongle to my controller. Now I have the records on my device. I can analyze it here in a table view or in a chart view. Or then I can upload them to the cloud. Now the data are stored in the cloud. If you wanted to check it together, Come with me. Here we are in the control room. This is the Televisair portal. I'm going to log in with my account. This is the landing page. I have a panoramic view of all my controllers. As you can see, on the left side, we have a list of all our controllers. And on the right side, we have the map where we can see the controllers located on the map. The first controller of the list is the one we have just uploaded from the Innovation Hub. As you can see, it is located in the Halliwell factory. It has a green spot. It means that there are no active alarms on this controller. The spot could also be yellow or red based on the severity of the alarm that is running on the controller. You can set the severity and the thresholds of the alarms on the setting page of the portal. Now, 
entering in the controller. We can see on the left table the last stored data of our controller and on the right table the historical data we have stored in the cloud. We can analyze the data in a table view or in a chart view. The chart can be zoomed, as you can see, or we can change the focus. Visit our website for further information.